Hello and welcome to Stuttgart, the 2007 European City of Sport. Already this year it has welcomed top gymnasts and athletes and this week plays host to the world's greatest cyclists for the World Road Championships. In the time trial, you're on your own. Your heart bursting, your lungs burning, and the clock ticking. In the road race, be ready to battle. Sharpen your elbows for the cut and thrust. Just keep cool and hang on. Right to the line. Well, the German team can be sure of a passionate support. The crowd has been building here all week. They love their bike racing here on the continent. 59 countries are represented, 500 competitors, all chasing Olympic places and a coveted rainbow jersey. Olympic and world track champion Bradley Wiggins will be hitting the road against the world's best in the time trial. Joining him in the start gate is David Miller who after a battling display in the Tour de France will also be looking to impress in the road race. Alongside him will be the Isle of Man sprint king, Mark Cavendish, who's enjoyed an incredible debut season on the continent. They'll all have their eyes on world champion Paolo Bettini, though his involvement in this year's event is steeped in controversy. For the women, you won't be seeing Britain's premier road cyclist here. Injury has put paid to Nicole Cook's chances. So the smart money is on the reigning road race champion, an American called Armstrong. Kristen, that is. So the American is certainly one to beat here in our first event, the women's time trial. But Great Britain has a couple of strong challengers. Wendy Hoovenagel just missed out on a medal at the World Track Championships in Mallorca and comes here having hit form just at the right time. What's key to being a good time trialist? Um, I think physically uh, you've got to have you know a good power to weight ratio. Uh, during a time trial, um, you are, you tend to spend up to you know maybe 30 or 40 minutes just you know pedalling as f hard and as fast as you can, and so you need to be able to concentrate for that amount of time and not become distracted by anything, um, which I tend to be quite good at. And um, you know, just I think it's really speed against the clock is what it's all about. And um, over the past few years, I've shown that that's an area that I tend to be quite strong in. The second British competitor is Zurich-based Emma Pooley. A fearless rider, Pooley punches above her weight and is enjoying being part of this successful British team. I'm not, I'm not sure what to expect uh, from, the time, from the time trial and, uh, and I'm certainly not going to say that I want to win it because then I'll look like a prat if I don't. <laughs> well, let's see how the British women get on. As always in our commentary box, Hugh Porter and sitting alongside him, someone who knows a thing or two about bike racing. But all eyes and really all interest is on the British champion, Sean Yates. Yates ready now for his greatest moment. The leader, Sean Yates, knows he's home and very dry and very happy. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. It's going to be, it's going to be an exciting race and uh, it's dry at the moment, although they have forecast some, some wet weather. So, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So the circuit, they uh, start here. Uh, at the top, actually, the summit of the long uphill finishing straight. And then when they get to the six kilometre point, that will be the first intermediate time split. And eventually it will swing right into Oswald Hestrasse. And that's just over four kilometres back to the finish. And it really is all uphill from there. Now then, we may just get to the first serious pace setter with this competitor. This is Hanke Kupfernagel of Germany. Now, I have been given the tip uh, from Emma Davis-Jones, who is here, to look out for Kupfernagel because she's fired up for this and she is very, very skillful and will fly down the tricky descent. It certainly should be fired up riding here in front of her home crowd. Um, it's. I wonder why she's in the first group uh, of riders, which normally is, contains the, the, the lesser-known riders or the guys that um, they think don't have such a good chance. But this is the American competitor, Amber Nebben. Very good road rider, Nebben. Former winner of the Tour de Laude and Route de France. She uh, wins time trials regularly, this competitor, in stage races. 
But can she replicate that kind of performance when it is a pure race against the clock? Now, what would you say the chances are for this lady, 48 years of age, oldest competitor in the race, oldest competitor I can ever remember riding in the World Time Trial Championship. 13 times a world champion, one of the greatest of all. Certainly impressive, and she's very much like her own late great Belle Burton in the fact that she's won, I think, 50, 60 national titles during her career. Now, this is Coop van Argel getting good support. When she's catching her minute and a half person up there, I just thought, fun. she's keeping a good cadence even though it's uphill, and that shows that she is going well, you know, to keep a good cadence on the uphill means you're strong. Well, that should be Lee of China if she's about to bridge the gap to the competitor that started ahead of her. And, of course, that is exactly what you want. It's like a pursuit. You yes. get your opponent ahead of you, pulls you out as you reel them back in. Look at the exactly. styles here. Two of them, yeah, absolutely. And the other one is Monrudi of Thailand. And all that within the space of one lap, which is uh, only uh, 12 and a half kilometres. Never. Now in the uh, final metres here, then, of the opening lap. Let's see whether uh, her time is going to put the Germans' time under threat. I don't think it is. So Nevin is the closest, then, that any uh, as anybody has got to Kupfenagel. But it's still a country mile off the pace, isn't it? 35 yes, it seconds. Is. Right, this is the one we've been waiting for. Now then, this is going to give us a real good idea. Rusikova of the Czech Republic on 26.11, but look at the time here for uh, Coop van Argel. Yes. This is very, very impressive. Oh, one minute, 31 seconds faster. She's got wings on her wheels here, Sean. She's flying. Yeah, I mean, there's only another nine minutes or so until the finish, so she's definitely, you know, she knows that it's, it's within sight and she's got to get it all out in that next 10, nine minutes to nine, ten minutes. As we focus here on the first starter in the fourth and final group, Christian Soda of Austria, the current national champion. She's the first now of the concluding group to get underway. So if anybody's going to challenge, it's going to come from this section. Ah, there we are. Now that's a chance for us to see Wendy Hupfenagel for the first time. Good encouragement then from the team car. That's the uh, three-quarter distance uh, for Hupfenagel. 26.37, so she's one minute and 50 seconds off the base of Hupfenagel at the moment. Now then, this is the time we want to see. Anka Hupfenagel going to come up and stop the clock. Oh, 34, 43, 79, 43 and a half kilometers an hour, and she's over two minutes quicker than her nearest challenger. That is an impressive display of time trialing. I think that time will stand for quite a while. Christian Thorburn here. 38 years of age, Thorburn. She won her first medal ever in the World Championships last year when she got the bronze. So it's a case of... Uh, Everything comes to those who wait, I think, because yes. uh, Thorburn, 38 years of age, yeah, certainly, yeah. clinching that first medal, bronze at 37. And, uh, Final effort then for Nebben. Won't be good enough for a medal, I'm sure. Nebben's time, 35.46, puts her second, 62 seconds shy of the time of Coop van Argel. Defending world champion, here she is. This is Christian Armstrong. Third in the world championships in 2005 and finally achieved a lifelong ambition by clinching the goal last year in Salzburg. Now then, can she replicate that performance? Soda. She's got the American Nebens time in her sights take that and see that move up to second slot. 22 seconds uh, off the pace of uh, Coop for Nagel, but silver medal position at the moment for Christian Soda of Austria. Now then, here comes Longo. We've been waiting to see the time she's going to put up. Well, it's uh, not going to pressurise Nebin of the United States, but it's got Lee of China under pressure. 
and she comes the multi multi world champion Longo drives for the line and goes third at this stage is the defending uh, world champion sense of urgency in her style here but Coop van Argel's time is out of reach and Armstrong the world champion at the moment is third nine seconds off the pace of Coop van Argel Emma Pooley going well and she just seems to be uh, accelerating sixth place then so she's moved up a place and pushed Hudakova of the Czech Republic down a spot a big gear there looking very strong and composed Soda getting ever nearer to the finish and the Americans time is under pressure here so if that's the case it means Longo will slip out of a medal uh, spot and that's exactly what is going to happen. There we go. Soda of Austria then moves into the silver medal position at 41.5 seconds off Coop van Argel. The American Amber Neben is now third. Longo has been pushed down into fourth place. There's one happy lady. <laughs> well, I would be getting slightly nervous. <laughs> Emma Pooley. She's certainly finishing strong. Yes, Longo's time is just out of reach. She's going to pressurise Mi Fang Li of China, who at the moment is lying fifth. Where is she going to finish in her debut at the World Time Trial Championships? At the moment, fifth place for Emma Pooley of Great Britain. Well, Excellent that's boy. a very good performance, and uh, with the severity of the road course, we can look out then for Pooley as uh, being somebody who will be one of the contestants for a medal. Back with the world champion now. Kristen Armstrong. Armstrong second at the moment, 20.7 seconds off the pace of Hanka Kup van Argel of Germany. Now, Kristen Thorburn will be uh, our next finisher. Finishing pretty strong, I think. You're right, she is finishing strongly, but she's not going to make it onto the podium. So the bronze medal winner last year. Fourth at this stage. I think the tears are just about starting. <laughs> And here comes the fast-finishing world champion, Christian Armstrong. She's not giving up without a scrap. Here she comes up to the line now, stopping the clock at uh, 35.07. That'll be the silver medal then for Christian Armstrong, and it means that Christian Soda of Austria finishes in bronze, but the day belongs to this competitor here, Hanke Kupfenagel of Germany. There it is, official confirmation of the elite women's time trial. Hanka Kupfenagel of Germany wins the gold medal. Christian Armstrong of the United States of America gets the silver. Christian Soda of Austria gets the bronze. And uh, Emma Pooley of Great Britain, a very creditable ride, finishing in eighth position. Wendy Hufenagel, 25th. Well, well done, Emma. A top Thanks. 10 finish, which is what we targeted, so yeah. what, you, what you were hoping for. But how, how did it feel? It felt dreadful <laughs> the whole way around. Um, no, I was definitely suffering, but you have to be that way. It's just about how much you can suffer in a time trial. So, um, and I was very surprised with the result and really, really pleased. I didn't want to say that I was aiming for top 10 in case I came last and looked like a wally, but um, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And uh, there's lots to improve, but yeah, I didn't fall off or crash into any barriers or, yeah. So I'm really pleased with how it went, thanks. And I think the British team are absolutely thrilled because this gives them places, of course, for the Olympics next year. Yeah, it gives us one place. Um, the other one is based on nation rankings at the end of May next year. But yeah, one, one place is a good start. Um, <laughs> better than none. So yeah, so I'm pleased because yeah, obviously the more places that are up for grabs at the Olympics, the more chance I have of getting selected. So um, for me and for us all, it's a good thing.